How do I share a part of my life with you without telling it to you in words? Being creative when you're cooking is very important because as a chef, when you cook something, you're sharing a story. My name is Jay Lee. I'm the chef and owner of a restaurant in East Village called No One. To me, East Village is a big representation of what New York City is. It's a melting pot of different cultures clashing all together, which merges into a beautiful neighborhood. I'm originally from Seoul, South Korea. Me and my family, we moved to the U.S. in 1997. I was eight years old. Growing up in New York City for me was really cool and fun experience being in a different environment. Honestly, street food is really part of my upbringing. My palate really developed with all the different cultures. It's my first time even experiencing what a hamburger was. I remember that burger very vividly because it's the first time where I was amazed by American food. So I wanted to open up a Korean American restaurant where there's some traditional touches, but also very familiar to non-Korean and make that connection using Korean ingredients. Our burger at No One is special because of the sauce. We're making a kimchi mayo. Kimchi is a Korean staple. That's a little spicy. Lettuce is just very crunchy. This adds a lot of freshness and texture to the dish. So what makes a good burger is how balanced the burger is. Now we're gonna toast off this plant-based bun. Now we're gonna add the cheese. And we layer cheese on one patty and layer the other one on top. Making a comfort dish, such a cheeseburger, but making it with plant-based ingredients, I welcome that and I think that's such a cool idea. Everything about this is a burger to me, really. I'm very confident that anyone that eats it will be very happy with it as well. No way that's plant-based. It's delicious. I didn't notice right away at all. Looks like a burger, tastes yeah. like a burger, feels like a burger. It's very good. You would never know. Yeah. I'm the type to kind of stay away from that kind of stuff, but yeah, I, I would go for this any day. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Probably if you wanted to, yeah. you could serve this and not tell people that it's not beef, and they would never know. Food to me, I think, is the true language of love. Through my food, I'm telling the story of my journey here in the States. As being a Korean-born kid growing up in New York City, it's telling stories of the two cultures. I truly believe that the future is more plant-based ingredients. It's an exciting thing to look forward to. That's the future of the world.